Hello everyone, Tim from timscomputerfix.net. Hey, in this video I'm going to talk about remote desktop software. Now whether you're a home user or a business user, desktop remote software could be a very useful tool. In this video for remote software, we're going to talk about a tool that's called Splashtop. Now Splashtop is a great alternative to some of the bigger names in remote software such as LogMeIn and TeamViewer. You can find Splashtop over at splashtop.com. I'll have the link in the chat below in the description. So Splashtop offers several different packages, but in this video in particular, we're going to be talking about the personal and home and the professional and work. So let's just start off with the personal and home, and we'll take a look at what this offers you. So what Splashtop offers here for home users is a free version of Splashtop. And basically what you can do with this is that you can use this remote software to remote into any computer that is on your local network. Now if you want to access any of your computers outside of your network, they will charge $16.99 a year, which really is not bad considering what other remote desktop software companies offer. Now with the personal version and the free version, you'll have all of the benefits of the business version, except for the file transfer feature of the software, and a couple of other small things that come with the business only version. But with the free version, you'll be able to check out and experience uh, exactly what the uh, Splashtop Remote Desktop has to offer. So let's go ahead and have a quick look at the comparisons. As you can see here, you can go to their site and you'll be able to see the comparisons between the personal and the business and what it really has to offer. So veering away from the personal edition, let's talk about the business edition, which is what I have. So let's go back to their main page and have a look at their business here now, as you can see, for only $60 a year, you can access up to 10 computers. That's a very competitive price considering what other remote software companies are offering. Now, there are a few other tiers here in their business class that they offer in price ranges. Just go to splashtop.com to see more about that. So just real quick, let's just have a look at how Splashtop is deployed and how we can use it to access other computers. So I've logged into my Splashtop account, and on this page, this is the computers page here, you can see all of the computers that I have Splashtop set up on to be accessed. Now the ones that are blank, that aren't blue, are actually off. Those computers are off. They're offline. I can't access them. The ones that are blue, I have complete access to and Splashtop does support unattended access. So we're going to show you how to set those up now. So the way Splashtop works, you have to actually create deployment packages to install on the computer that you want to have remote control of. So if you click Management and go to Deployment, here you'll see a list of some of the deployment packages I've created. But right here we're going to click create a deployment package. So in order to create a deployment package for a computer, there are several settings you have to set here. So first off, the package name. You can name this anything you want to. That's just what's going to show up on your package list whenever you go to look at what computers you have to access. So for now, we'll just call this test. Okay, and down here in the next area here, well, here you can just use the current computer name, or you can add some numbers to that, or there's a couple of other options to kind of keep all of your computers organized. Okay, the grouping. All this is down here is this sets different groups. If you have several technicians that need access to certain computers, you can set groups. Um, that's not the case here. That's a more of an advanced setting that, that we're not going to cover here. Uh, the general settings here, you have uh, the auto streamer, auto launch streamer, which means that every time the computer is booted up, it automatically launches the streamer. 
So basically it's a running process every time the computer is booted and that's what you want. You want that set as auto. Here it's automatically checked for updates. So every time that the streamer is launched, that it automatically checks for updates so it stays current. And we'll go ahead and check that. This is something new at this time with Splash Top. You're able to hide the streamer from the system tray. So that's really good in case you don't want, you know, customers uh, seeing it down in the system tray and trying to mess with it, opening it, deleting it, or whatever, so it doesn't get bothered. They don't even know it's there. They don't even know it's running. It's running in the background without them even knowing it. So. For my case here, I'm just going to leave that blank. Here you have a require Windows logon. So basically, with this option checked, you will have to type in the user's password every time you want to re remote into that computer with unattended access. I'm going to uncheck that in my case. Okay, here you have request permission upon connection. So basically every time that you go to log in to the computer, it needs the user on the other end of the computer you're trying to remote into. It needs, they need to accept permission for you to remote into it. That's really good for residential customers or any customer that may be a bit weary about you having unattended access to their computer. I'm leaving that blank here. Lock screen when disconnected. This is a really good feature. So whenever you're finished with your session and you log out of their computer, their computer automatically goes to the login screen. So whoever comes in to use that computer again has to access to use their username and password to get in. Good feature there. Okay, this is another good feature from Splash Top here at the time of me releasing this video. Uh, this feature here will only allow admins on the Splash Top business team to change settings on the launcher. So that's a good feature and a nice implementation from Splash Top is pretty important. And all these features are down here is sound options, whether you want the sound only to be put out through the computer you're remoting into or through the computer that you're using to remote into a computer or both. That's all that is there. So once all this is all set up and you have it all good to go, you want to click Create Deployment Package. And then here you can see in my Deployment Package list, I have Test here now. And this is a code. And this code is going to have to be entered in during the installation of the streamer on the computer that you want to remote into. Once this code is used, it cannot be used again in any form, or it will not become active. It will, it will decline it. So only being able to use this once is a really good uh, safety feature as far as security is concerned. Okay. At this point, you want to hit Deploy. All right. So here's the deployment screen here. This is the deployment package for test. And this, this will include all the settings that we just set. But right here, it will give you a URL that you can go into and you can actually download the the package with this URL or down here you can actually use this to download the package immediately and this also is good for Mac I forgot to mention that splash top works on Macs too which is really awesome and here is the code here that is used again for this particular package, the test package. So if I hit download, and we'll see down here at the bottom that it's actually downloading. And once that's finished downloading, we have the package all ready to go. Now, now that you have the package, if you're on the computer you want to remote into, all you have to do is open it and run it. But at this time, we don't need to do that. You could also take that download, that package, and you can uh, put it on a flash drive. 
and you can go fit and and personally put it on their computer and install it or you can upload it to like your file server or your FTP server and 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 download it from there and install it but that's the package that you install on the client's computer once you install that on the client's computer using that 12 digit code you will see the splash top streamer in the system tray on the computer that you're trying to access so once you have that every time you boot the computer this will be visible and this shows you that splash top streamer is available for unattended access okay let's just say you're a new user and you've already created your deployment and installed it on the computer you want to access now in order for you to access that computer we need to download what's called the splash top app so we can go back to the main page of splash top and go to downloads and we'll scroll down here to the splash top business area here in the downloads and here is the list of all of the supported operating systems for the app the app must be installed on the device that you want to view your remote computer from so in this case you can just click in my case Windows and then again down here there's the app being downloaded once the app is downloaded all you have to do is just open it up and click run and this app will install on your computer and now you are ready to to remote into whatever computer this on your list of computers so let's just go back to my account here and let's click on computers and here you'll see a list of all the computers again that I'm able to access so for this video I have TCR PC here this computer is turned off this is on my local network these are my business clients a couple of them anyway so we want to go ahead and I'm just going to turn that computer on boot it up and then we're going to remote into that one okay as you can see here now that my TCR PC is now blue it's lit up so it is on and ready to access so we're just going to click connect and we'll launch application so now here's my bench computer that I am remote accessing and as you can see full color full resolution should be sound here too nice we can go bigger screen here then there's some options up here we can disconnect we can hide the cursor we can do control alt delete just by clicking that there's control alt delete on the remote computer and a few other options here there's also a full screen option that allow you to go full screen and this is an option here in case you have more than one monitor that you're trying to remote into this is file transfer if you click that you're able to transfer files between each computer nice features there and here's the chat you click that you get chat so let's go ahead and exit out of my bench computer now so hey if you think you like splash top go over and give it a try nothing wrong with giving it a uh and if you think you might like it for your business hey 60 bucks for 10 computers isn't that bad of a deal in my opinion hey, also i would like to give a shout out to donald sayers from ifixy he was the one that turned me on to the splash top remote desktop and i really do enjoy it hey ifixy.com go visit him there so thanks for watching my video everyone and uh, until next time see you soon